The speed of a wave, okay, we have speed, in deep waters depends on the wavelength L, okay, and the acceleration of free fall G. What is the possible equation for the speed V of the wave? Okay, so remember homogeneous equation, meaning each term must have the same base as I unit. And then your teacher, this equation only got two terms. Ah, yeah, lah. Easy lah, only got two terms. What? So if there's only two terms, we check both terms. So I think I will check the left hand side first. Left hand side. So I'll write here base SI for V. Okay. The base SI for V directly is MS negative 1. Okay, so this is ms negative one. Then we go and <laughs> teacher so many things. Uh, okay, you chill first. I probably so you're doing objective, right? So you see, uh, there's a lot of gl, gl, or g over l, g over l. So here's my Miss Lee method. La. I'm not gonna test one by one. I'm going to see what gl and g over l is, and then I'll figure it out. Teacher, we don't have to care about the 2 pi, 4 pi square, all that. No need, no need, no need. Because what is this 2 pi, uh, 4 pi square? Got unit or not? Got unit or not? No unit. No unit. We don't care for unit analysis. So 2 and pi or whatever, this one are all unitless. So, okay, thanks, bye. Don't care about them. All right. So now we do right hand side. But I'm going to be a bit smart. I'm just going to figure out what is GL, Grand Legend, and what is G over L. All right, so what is G? Acceleration is G. So from here, you can see that G would be MS negative 2 because the base SI unit for acceleration is MS negative 2. Wavelength is M. So this is M, meaning or GL is actually M square S negative 2. Okay, so if I want M square S negative 2 to be equal to the original MS negative 1, I need to square root, right? The 2 must become 1. The negative 2 must be negative 1. What do we do? We square root. So hence, again, this is objective. The way you write working, not that important. Paper 2 matters, huh? Paper 1, nah. All right, so hence, if I go and take the base unit for GL, square root of GL, I will square root M square S negative 2. And what happens when I square root this, huh, ladies and gentlemen? I'll get M S negative 1. Hey, teacher, same, same, are correct. So we take GL with a square root. The answer is A. GL with the square root. Did you have the 2 pi there? Remember, 2 pi no unit. Don't care. Whether it's there, it's not there, doesn't matter. So this is what I mean by just because the units are correct doesn't mean the equation is correct. But if the equation is correct, the unit must be correct. Okay, so right now, this unit will be correct, or rather this equation will be correct. No? And then you will be thinking, teacher, I, I don't feel safe. Huh? Can we check the G over L? Huh? Can. So I'm just going to write here. Huh? This side here, this will be MS negative 1. If you look at this one, this will be M square S negative 2. So this is out. Okay, what about G over L? G is MS negative 2 and L was M. The M and M can cancel. Well, cannot. I totally cannot. You know why? Because the base SI unit have a meter. See here? Where can cancel like that? Hello? Cannot. So after you cancel, whether you square root or you don't square root, you definitely will not get the answer. Okay? So that is how we arrive at 8 for this question.